Hi everyone, welcome back to the Lucy Power Perspective. This is Lucy Power, Australia's number one fitness model, escort, porn star and content creator. Thanks for coming back. Um, I'm doing another video from my bedroom again because, you know, due to lack of privacy with my children being home, um, I haven't been able to find any space to record this video. Um, today's uh, post, today's video is um, a part of my Life of Lucy series and um, I just wanted to do a follow-up video in regards to how my children found out about um, what it is that I do for work and, and their reaction to it. So when they initially found out, um, if you watch my last episode, you'll be able to um, find out how they reacted. Um, uh, my daughter was very devastated and she's 13 and my son who was 15 initially <laughs> um, wasn't too upset about it. Um, now having said that, I then recorded the video and um, he had told me the day after I recorded it that he had changed his mind and he was in fact quite upset about it. and. Um, did not approve and uh, really didn't know how he felt about it and was um, disgusted. And I was like, well, okay. Um, I, uh, I guess I sort of expected that to happen anyway, because you know, you can't, I'm very well aware of the fact that it's a very touchy subject and emotions can change. And, and he could have had a conversation with someone that may have um, affected the way that he felt about it. Um, but, we didn't really go into depth um, discussing his feelings about it then. Um, he didn't really want to talk about it. I asked if he wanted to and he said he didn't want to talk about it. So um, in the last video, I actually edited out some, edited out some stuff that um, he uh, had told me um, because he told me in confidence and he has since told me that he uh, wanted me to take it down. And uh, of course, I would respect that. Now. What happened was um, all their attitudes <laughs> uh, became much worse after interaction with um, their father. Now, um, uh, their father and I do not get along, um, despite my efforts in trying to. Uh, I think the um, anger and hatred towards me just uh, conquers any desire to just sort of co-parent effectively on his behalf. Um, I've got no problem in actually saying this. I know that there are family members of his that watch this. He probably watches it as well. Um, but I'm quite happy to actually just state to him and to the world that, um, you know, I have always wanted to try and make it work as a co-parent because we've got wonderful children um, and would still be willing to do that. Now, what happened this weekend, though, was obviously the children spoke to him about what they found out. Now, he had already threatened me that he was going to reveal it to them um, but I think he realized that it would have just hurt him if he did. So he didn't, but then they found out on the weekend anyway. So what happened is I have no idea exactly what's gone on in discussions with him. Now he has told me many times before that he thinks it's disgusting what I do, that I'm a carrier of disease and, um, all this sort of, you know, non nonsense stuff. Um, now when the children came back to me that weekend, they were filled with hate and, they never do that. So um, that weekend that they came back, it was very touchy between all of us. I was very upset because um, the attitudes towards me were just um, terrible. And so I, um, I went to bed, you know, just whatever. I woke up in the morning with a notification on my YouTube channel saying that my son had commented on it. Um, First of all, he used his real name. Um, second of all, uh, it said that he has changed his mind. He didn't agree and he thought it was very disgusting what I did. Now, I've removed the comment mostly for privacy and security because he used his name. And I sat down with him to talk about it. Um, uh, he sat down. He said it was very uncomfortable. He did feel very disgusted in what I did. And I'm like, well, what's changed? And he just said he had time to think about it. Now, the thing is, what happened is um, their father has obviously told them that what I do is disgusting. I don't know what else he has said, but um, 
they came back again with anger, even though things had calmed down in the house and we had worked things out. And clearly they realized that I'm their loving mother who still does everything for them. You know, I'm at a stay at home, a stay at home mum basically at the moment because I'm not working. And, um, you know, cook them dinner, look after them, do their laundry, all of the stuff that, you know, a responsible parent does, help them with their schoolwork, homeschool them and all this sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I sat down with my son and we had a very lengthy conversation about um, attitudes towards the adult industry and why it is that he might be feeling the way that he feels. Um, I told him that there's no shame in what I do and I don't feel ashamed of what I do and I do it by choice and um, yeah I went on again to discuss the business side of things and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I guess one thing that I really wanted to bring up now um, it's really really important um, for fathers out there uh, who are discussing with their children um, you know, the consumption of porn or, um, you know, looking at nudie magazines or, you know, just becoming a sexual being, um, masturbation and all that sort of stuff. Be really careful about um, the language that you use when you're talking about this sort of behavior. You don't really want to instill any shame on your children or guilt, especially if you yourself look at that sort of stuff or watch that sort of stuff so if you watch porn you can't be telling your son it's disgusting um, I really don't think that any parent should be telling any child that it's disgusting anyway because you're placing um, a stereotype in their mind discussing the pros and cons of porn itself in a mature way and a non-judgmental way is the best way to approach any um, topic when it comes to your children, of course. So um, I guess what I'm saying is that my poor son um, had been experiencing some deep, deep shame and guilt about the whole thing. And um, thankfully, I was able to help him understand that he didn't need to feel that way. Um, and, and we sort of worked it out, which is really good. And I'm really lucky that I have great communication with my kids and that they trust me and they love me, even though I've had to keep secrets from them. Um, you know, they understand that the fact that I'm there for them every single day and um, I'm a responsible parent, um, they can see that that's evidence. You know, behavior speaks way, way louder than words. Um, so action speaks louder than words, basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say. I just wanted to give a follow up on um, how my children are doing in terms of the whole thing. Uh, their lives have not been ruined. <laughs> they will be fine. Um, it was just a bit of a shock when they found out. Um, and it'll be a bit of adjusting, um, you know, learning how to deal with it. Now, the other thing is that one thing I've had to tell them is that I don't just do porn. I do a few different things. And that's one thing, um, you know, that I think a lot of actors are like that. They have other things going on in their life. And um, people just tend to focus on the things that make them feel uncomfortable or them feel disgusted. So I said to them, you know, don't forget that I'm an artist and um, I'm a life coach and I'm a designer and a product developer and... Um, an influencer and all these sorts of things and that I give advice and tips about sex and intimacy and um, the adult industry has in fact helped me um, get exposure in the art world and stuff like that so um, I guess yeah so they're doing okay um, and but yeah his second reaction was that he was very very upset about it and it'll just be an ongoing issue having to deal with uh, the topic basically. Um, but yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, this was just a quick update, a quick video to let you know how we were going as a family after they found out that I do porn for work. Um, if you have any questions or tips or advice, please feel free to leave them. And, um, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you've liked it. Actually click like <laughs> and, uh, 
keep an eye out for more. Bye.